I could actually run my business and run government at the same time. Donald Trump resigning from his business empire, but not selling it. Instead, he'll transfer control to his sons. Don and Eric are going to be running the company. They Legal experts say the plan falls short. Manner. He has ownership interest in the businesses. The profits from the businesses go to him, and all of the conflicts of interest remain intact. Intact because Trump will still know what his holdings are, and that could impact the decisions he makes as president. We're entitled to know that when he makes a personnel appointment, when he decides on a domestic statute, when he sets his foreign policy, he's asking himself to the bottom of his core, is this what's best for America? The Office of Government Ethics slammed Trump's plan. Stepping back from running his positions is meaningless from a conflicts of interest pr perspective. For months, experts have been calling on Trump to sell his assets and put them in a blind trust. Some but Trump's attorney says that wouldn't work. But you cannot have a totally blind trust with operating businesses. President Trump can't unknow he owns Trump Tower. Instead, the Trump Organization is pledging it won't do any new deals in foreign countries, and any domestic deals that could raise eyebrows will be vetted by a newly appointed ethics officer. Trump's sons, Don Jr. and Eric, will run the business along with Trump Organization CFO Alan Weisselberg, who's been there since the 1980s, even appearing on The Apprentice. I thought that Andy losing his lines of communication was a very serious matter. Trump's relationship to all of them creates its own issues. Everyone is going to know that when they're doing business with Eric or Don Jr., they're doing business with the president. There are also questions surrounding the emoluments clause. It's a constitutional provision that bars the president from receiving cash or other gifts from foreign governments. To address that, Trump's attorney says any hotel profits the Trump Organization makes from foreign governments will be donated to the U.S. Treasury. But legal experts say the business could run afoul of the emoluments clause in other areas. That includes loans from uh, foreign government-owned banks and leasing of space in his buildings from foreign government-owned banks. So there is the Constitution and the Emoluments Clause, but more than anything else, what does he risk? He risks losing the trust of all of the people of the United States who are counting on him to be able to separate himself from his business interests. Trump isn't exactly turning his back on his business either. He'll still receive profit and loss reports on the company as a whole, even as his sons run the day-to-day -day operations. And I hope at the end of eight years I'll come back and I'll say, oh, you did a good job. Otherwise, if they do a bad job, I'll say, you're fired. Goodbye, everybody.